Off day, everyone, I'm Nestor Lacanto with the Pacific Daily News. Here are our top stories from the PDN Newsroom. A 17-year-old unlicensed driver charged in connection with a fatal traffic crash told police he drank shots of vodka before speeding through Haganya, losing control of the car and slamming into a concrete utility pole, according to a magistrate's complaint filed in Superior Court. John A. Apollonio was the driver in a car with three other teens, ages 15, 16, and 17, on June 12. All four were injured. The two backseat passengers, a 17-year-old girl and a 16-year-old, were thrown from the car. The 17-year-old girl died from her injuries later that day. According to the complaint, Apollonio told officers he was just doing dumb things. He also didn't have a license or learner's permit and told investigators' friend showed him how to drive a car a few times. Apollonia was charged Thursday with vehicular homicide and vehicular homicide DWI as second-degree felonies. He was also charged with vehicular negligence as a third-degree felony. If found guilty of all charges, he could face 25 years in prison. In other news, several Guam Department of Education schools have reported break-ins throughout this week and police are asking for the public's help to find those responsible, according to Guam Police Department Acting Spokesman Sergeant Paul Tapao. On Monday and Wednesday, school officials from Pinagayan Elementary School in Dededo reported to police that numerous classrooms, AV rooms, and the cafeteria were broken into by unknown individuals. On Thursday, school officials from Marizo Elementary School, Telepofo Elementary School, and George Washington High School reported to police that their respective schools had been broken into by unknown individuals. GPD is asking if anyone has information that can aid investigators regarding these school break-ins to call police dispatch at 671-472-8911 or 671-475-8615 through 7. No need to drive to Dededo for your fix anymore. Philippine fast food giant Jollibee opened its doors at the Aganya Shopping Center to hungry customers Thursday morning. The Jollibee mascot came out to greet the crowd, and the grand opening was celebrated with a giant bucket of chicken joy that took three people to carry. Minutes after the ribbon was cut at the new location, customers were already lined up at the counter and out the door to place their orders, and both of the two drive through lanes were filled up. The long-awaited Hagatnya location is the second Jollibee on Guam since the franchise re-entered the local market in 2019. Plans to open a third location are already in the works with a location still to be announced. But Jollibee Foods Corporation President of International Business Dennis Flores, who flew into Guam for the grand opening, teased at an even wider expansion for the island. Cheers to the second Jollibee store in Guam, to the next five stores here, Flores said during the ribbon-cutting ceremony on Thursday. In other news, if you want to see local art by a variety of artists, check out the Guam Art Exhibit Summer Showcase titled Now at the Ducet Place until Sunday. This year's exhibit pays homage to the community of artists that inspired Gax while creating space for new and emerging creatives, the Guam Art Exhibit said. Gax now is a collaborative collection of work that evokes power themes surrounding identity, culture, and impact, the organization said. The exhibit opened on June 20 and has featured several Meet the Artist events, allowing people to get to know the artists behind the work on display. The exhibit is open daily from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. on weekends with a final exhibit on Sunday. For more on these stories, go to guampdn.com and follow us on social media.